Hi, Taurus. This is Lucky with Lucky Seven Zero. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to my channel. This is your November 2021 general reading for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Remember that these messages are general, so not every message will resonate with you. If it does, great. If it doesn't, check your moon and your rising sign videos for a more complete message or feel free to get a personal reading with me. My website is lucky 7 That link will be in the description box below. If you just want to know more, the link to the extended version of this reading will also be listed in the description box below. All right, we are going to jump right into this. I do have 2022 personal readings on sale on my website if you're interested to know what is going to be happening for you next year. All right. This first spread, we're going to do a love and a money spread. I'm doing everybody's spreads differently just to try something new this month. All right. So let's see what's going on with you in love, Taurus, for the month of November. All right. Taurus, sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Taurus, tell me who you guys are dating. What is their zodiac sign or who you're interested in? The person you love. What is their zodiac sign? And if you're cross-watching... Um, tell me who, you know, what your zodiac sign is. All right, let's see. And if you know your big three, put that in there. I love to read the comments and see stuff like that. Let's see what's going on for you, Taurus, for love, Taurus in love for November. Okay. What's the challenge for Taurus in November regarding love? Your challenge is the 10 of cups in reverse. OK, so your challenge does have a lot to do with um, a relationship ending. OK, maybe something that just didn't feel abundant in your life, um, something that may have been unstable. All right. I feel like a lot of you guys are giving up. You may have been waiting for this person and you don't see a new beginning um, in this situation. All right. Let's see what you don't see coming. What does Taurus not see coming when it comes to love? What does Taurus not see coming when it comes to love in November? Wow. New love. Okay. New love. An opportunity for new love could be a new love offer, maybe from a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, or someone that is, um, they could have water in their chart heavily or someone is just very, very passionate when it comes to you. All right. Um, but that's really dope. Let's look at this. So you have the hanged man. You also have the page of wands in the reverse and the five of pentacles in reverse. Okay. I feel like a lot of you guys are holding yourself back from coming together with someone. All right. Um, potentially because there is something that has fallen apart, but there's also this new love here. So we're going to see what this is all about. Let's clarify your challenge being the 10 of cups. Why is the challenge the 10 of cups in reverse for Taurus in November? Okay. Some of you are dealing with a Scorpio. Maybe you have Scorpio in your natal chart. You have the two of cups in reverse. At the bottom of the deck, you've got the tower. You've got the nine of pentacles reversed and the death card. Okay. There is definitely a relationship here that has ended, but I feel like it, as much as it may be coming to an end here, I feel like someone's trying to avoid it fully coming to an end. All right. There's still... Like somebody's still trying to hold on in some capacity. I see somebody feeling very stuck in their head, not offering love, not open to love, that kind of thing. All right. Let's go ahead and clarify this death card here, this ending. What is this ending here for Taurus that's challenging them? The Seven of Cups. So some of you... I feel like you're dealing with somebody that has other options that may not necessarily know where to place their affection. And that might be the reason that something is not moving forward. Okay. The truth is, is that there is a new love offer available for you. All right. There's a whole brand new offer of love available for you. But I feel like 
somebody is not open to it. They're still holding themselves back from it. So let's see why the hanged man is here. Why is the hanged man here for Taurus when it comes to love? Okay. The five of pentacles in reverse. You've got the six of swords reversed, the devil reversed, and the ten of wands reversed. So Capricorn energy. I feel like a lot of you guys are holding yourself back when it comes to love because I feel like you have not fully moved on from something, right? Something needs to be let go of. Potentially some sort of toxic situation or toxic behavior needs to be let go of and released, okay? Um, I do see... Some of you, there is this energy of walking away from something that is not stable. Somebody's not able to offer you stability. Um, hmm, maybe you're not offering stability for some of you. Page of Wands Reverse. Why is this here for Taurus? Okay. And you've got the Star card, Aquarius Energy. The Temperance, Sagittarius Energy, the Two of Wands in Reverse, and the King of Wands in Reverse. A lot of you, I feel like somebody is a player, okay? I feel like you were patient with this person. I feel like um, you may have been patient with this individual, and it didn't pan out. Someone wouldn't open up. They wouldn't move forward, all right? Um, and maybe you're seeing the light and deciding that you don't want to talk to this person or that, you know, things can't be, they can't grow in this situation. Right. So I do feel like, and for some of you, I feel like you were very patient, you know, like, um, you waited, you gave the effort, you gave the energy to this individual. Let's see why this five of pentacles is reversed. Oh, wow. Okay. The Four of Cups at the bottom of the deck. The Hanged Man reversed now. The Hierophant, which is your own energy. And then the Eight of Wands in reverse. Okay. I feel like for a lot of you, there is this relationship that is available to you, a higher level commitment potentially. Um, but a lot of you have dealt with someone in the past that didn't see your value, that didn't, you weren't able to have the stable family life, right? This is a relationship that may have ended, okay? And I feel like you are in the process of needing to let this go. This might have even made you a little bit bitter. And there might be some healing that's necessary. But I do see that there is a relationship that I feel like you guys need to move on from. All right. And it, there's almost like I'm getting this energy of still holding on. But let's see. Tell me about the Hierophant. Why is the Hierophant here for Taurus? The Two of Cups in reverse. Yeah. It's like. A lot of you, uh, this was a very difficult um, ending for you in this relationship. You know, you held yourself back as much as you could. Um, and I see that there is this energy of somebody, you know, moving on because the relationship doesn't have a solid foundation, all right? Why is this Eight of Wands here reversed? The Six of Cups. So someone, I feel like there's a lot of looking back at the past, at something that wasn't stable, right? And there's no forward movement. It's like the past can't be in your future. You know, you've got to, and I feel like maybe you haven't seen that yet. You haven't seen the truth about that just yet? Let's see why the Ace of Cups is what you don't see coming. Tell me about the Ace of Cups for Taurus. Oh, 
Okay. So you have the seven of swords in reverse, the four of swords, the five of pentacles again in reverse, and then you've got the knight of cups in reverse. A lot of you, you're, you're healing. There's a new love opportunity sent here to bring about healing in your life. All right. Um, but I feel like you're having trouble opening up, allowing yourself to love in this situation because you're having a difficult time getting over something that wasn't growing, something that wasn't going anywhere. All right. They may have left you feeling bitter. That was, you know, you feel stabbed in the back, that kind of thing. Tell me about the Knight of Cups reversed for Taurus, the lovers in reverse. Okay. A lot of you, this is a false twin flame energy. I feel like someone here had options. They had another choice. They may have chosen somebody and this didn't make you happy. This is a, you were upset maybe about the fact that this person didn't open up and give you the love that maybe you felt like you deserved in one way or another. Why is the four of swords here? Yeah, a lot of you are healing the fact that this is not growing or coming together for you, okay? There's some healing in that. And I feel like you're literally pushing through, pushing beyond the situation, right? Trying to get through it, okay? Now, let's see what else you need to know regarding your love life or what else is going to come up for you. Then we'll talk about money and see what you guys have going on there. Tell me what Taurus needs to know. And if you're interested in any of the decks, I have them listed in the description box below. Okay. Yeah, Taurus, there's an energy of feeling stuck. All right. Feeling stuck. You still have a lot of passion for someone. Okay. Some of you, you feel stuck with somebody who's a player that still wants to be out having sex with other people. Okay. I do feel like there is something here that is meant to be, and you need to open yourself up to it. Yeah, you also have the lust card that came out again. I feel like you're protected, though. You're very powerful. You have the ability to overcome, but you're really in your head, okay? You're really in your head, and you're, you need to go within. Possibly ask your spirit guides for help. Okay, there's some things that are hidden from you, things that you're not seeing. Somebody is wearing a false mask when it comes to love. Somebody is not who you think they are. Um, yeah, someone is watching you, all right? Somebody is watching you, keeping tabs on you. Mm, I see you guys running away from feeling stuck. Possibly, but I feel like you're blinded. You know, it's not, there's something that you're not seeing clearly. Um, I also see a lot of you need to listen to your intuition, right? About making a choice between more than one person, okay? Um, there's something here that needs to be decided. And I feel like there's something here that is meant to be. It's like, yeah. You need to go within yourself, all right? Um, get closer in touch with your spirit guides, okay? Yeah, I feel like a lot of you guys, there's something here that feels broken to you because someone is not who you, who they claim to be and if it is depressing, you feel sad, all right? It may, somebody may be hiding something. It could even be somebody older, all right? Hiding um, a child possibly hiding, uh, something having to a decision that is made regarding a child or an elderly person for some, let's see. I feel like some of you guys, there's somebody here watching you, but not saying anything. All right. Um, maybe this is you. Okay. Clarify what's hidden. Yeah, somebody wants their freedom. They want their freedom. They want to be free to love who they want to love, or they are gaining their freedom from someone that was 
someone older um, is kind of what I'm getting for you guys. Let's see what else you need to know here. What messages do you have for the sign of Taurus? Yeah, Taurus, I see you guys looking back, right? Looking back, kind of feeling embarrassed by the past, but there's something here that this was meant to prepare you for something, all right? Um, you have happiness here. Happiness coming in possibly with a new adventure, a new opportunity in your life, a new situation, okay? But there's that lust again, somebody having, a, there's a lot of sexual energy here. And I feel like there's some sort of change, somebody not working on something because someone is, is having sex with another person, dating other people. I see somebody here feeling stuck, okay? Somebody feeling stuck, having tunnel vision, not seeing the truth, not seeing things for what they truly are. Um, yeah. A lot of you guys, there is something that you are preparing yourself for, and you're going to be breaking free of a situation where someone may not have been fully honest with you, all right? Somebody here has secret feelings for someone um, or has a secret connection with someone, and that is the reason why somebody here is, is divesting themselves. They're removing themselves from the situation. Clarify these messages for Taurus. Yeah, Taurus, in the past, you didn't make yourself a priority. You didn't take care of you, all right? Um, and I feel like somebody here is, you know, they're wearing a false mask. This is somebody that is not who they claim to be. What about this happiness? Yeah, there's going to be some changes in your life that do bring happiness, all right? Changes that bring happiness. I feel like you guys are going to open yourself up. As you do, you have multiple offers, Um maybe more than one offer opportunity for love. Okay. Okay. Somebody is, uh, okay. Somebody's moving on because someone could be something that you gave a lot to that you're moving on from because, um, of somebody's sexual behavior or activities. Yeah. I feel like a lot of you guys are stuck in the past. All right. Reflecting on the past where you felt rejected. And there's this need to clear the energy, all right, to clear the air. Um, a lot of you are preparing yourself to get something that you want, all right? You're going in a new direction. Possibly something here is making you frustrated, all right? I see a new adventure with some sort of, somebody here is, is starting a brand new relationship or connection. And I feel like this leaves someone here feeling jealous. All right. Somebody from the past may be, or somebody here wants to come back around from the past, may even want to apologize. Um, tell me about this desire. Mm. Yeah, I see. I feel like a lot of you, there's, you're being prepared for something that you want, where it's not going to be something that comes in with ulterior motives. It's going to be something here that is really good for you. Okay. You need to trust your intuition. I feel like a lot of you are having a hard time letting go of someone. Tell me about the secret love. Why is this here? Hmm karma. Someone may be apologizing to you, wanting to move forward, all right? Um, wanting to have success with you. Clarify this. Could be a friend, somebody that you have a, a connection with. I feel like for some of you, this is somebody you might work with, but I also see this. Um, for a lot of you, there is this energy of kind of needing to move on is what I'm getting. All right. Let's see. What messages do you have for... What messages do you have for Taurus regarding love for November? Overall energy, the moon. The moon talks about things being hidden, but then look at that. You got the sun at the bottom of the deck. Something hidden is coming to light. You've got the strength card in reverse. Somebody letting their ego 
like letting go of their ego, I feel like for a lot of you, for some of you, this could be somebody's ego too high. You know, I also feel like there's something having to do with somebody being impatient. Okay. The tower, Scorpio energy. You've got Cancer, Pisces, Leo, and Scorpio here. And then the page of wands, something comes crashing down. All right, something comes crashing down. It falls apart because it's not built on a solid foundation. There's no forward movement. All right, clarify the moon. The secrets that get revealed actually lead you to a positive change in your life. All right, they lead you to a positive change because I feel like there's something that's unsuccessful, but this is going to lead you to something that you're more successful. It's meant for you as part of your destiny. Why is strength reversed? The chariot. Yeah, a lot of you guys are moving on, right? You're moving on from something that was not stable, an opportunity that wasn't growing for you. The tower. The sun card. Okay, so something falling apart does bring happiness because something better comes together. I feel like a lot of you guys, this has taken a toll on your confidence, okay? On your level of confidence is what I'm seeing, all right? Let's see what advice Spirit has for you. And then if you want to get into the extended version of this reading, that link will be below, but we're going to see what advice Spirit has for you. In the extended, I will talk about um, you know what? I forgot to ask about money. Sorry, guys. Give me a second. Let me get three cards regarding career and finances for, uh, I was going to call you Sagittarius, for Taurus. Some of you may be dealing with one. Career and finances, you have the Hermit, Virgo energy. The Sun, Leo energy. Wow. And the Wheel of Fortune. Really dope. Really, really dope. Bottom of the deck, the Two of Pentacles. So if there's, there's a decision that you may have to make to do something alone, right? To do something alone. I feel like um, a lot of you are coming into some sort of awakening regarding what is going to make you happy and what's going to bring in abundance. And there's going to be some sort of specific change to your finances in your career. Let's see what this is. Tell me about the hermit regarding career and money for Taurus. The queen of pentacles in reverse. A lot of you, yeah, you know, there is something that feels unstable in your life may not be coming together, you know, may not have come together for you, but I feel like as you awaken to certain things, things do come together for you. All right. Um, there's a spiritual awakening here, doing something maybe you're more passionate about. Yeah, there's a positive change coming in, something that brings in happiness uh, for you, okay? Doing something new. Doing something new. Something that could make your cup overflow for a lot of you. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? The Nine of Cups, you guys are gonna get exactly what you want, all right? There's gonna be... Something here that um, I feel like changes and it may affect your family life or may take you away from your family, friends, that sort of thing. I feel like there's a lot of um, abundance that comes with this situation. All right. Let's go ahead and see what this advice is that you have for the month of November. What advice do you have for Taurus? Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Okay, look at that. Abundance is in your future. Taurus, you have some significant abundance coming in for you. Spirit is saying, do more, say less. Don't talk about it, be about it, all right? And don't make permanent decisions based on temporary emotions because you will, you will regret it later, all right? You have open your heart. Some of you, your heart is closed off to someone and you need to open it up. All right. You need to trust that you're making the right decision for yourself. So don't close yourself off to love because you I did see a new love option coming in, but there's a lot of fear associated with it potentially because of something in the past holding you back. All right. 
If you want to join me in the extended, that is available in the link below where I'm going to go over this in detail. All right. We're going to find out about your person from the past and the one coming in uh, and see what's going on here, Taurus. All right. I hope this was helpful. I love you guys. I hope you're loving on yourselves. Peace, love, and blessings to you always. Bye-bye.